welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a scrap lift video and I'm scrap lifting Jess from the Wild Hair Kits design team. And that was the photo that I am basing my projects off of. Now, I am not scrapbooking in this video. I am doing something I've never filmed before and don't do often, which is cards. Um, I needed some Valentine's cards for some swaps that I'm doing. And I thought this was the absolute perfect opportunity to do that. Um, I could use up some scraps that I have. I have some six by eight papers um, and this beautiful cut apart sheet. So this was the perfect project for what I have left from my kit. So um, the ideas that I'm taking from Jess are the ripped papers and then also the diagonal layout of it. So you will see that um, as you can see I ripped some of those papers and also distressed some edges and yeah I try to do like more diagonal kind of quote-unquote layout. So yeah, like I said, this is for the wild hair kits. Um, if you want to see what is in my kit, uh, that is, um, I posted that on the second of the month. But today, um, we, on the 25th of every month, we always do scrap lifting. And, um, and yeah, so we have a blog post where we post all of the um, people participating in the scrap lift. And... Um, what did I want to say about that? Oh yes, I wanted to say to go check it out. <laughs> so the link for the Wild Hair Kits website will be posted down below in the description box if you would like to see that post. So you can see how everyone else um, has taken inspiration from Jess. Um, it is, there's really no rules about it. Basically, we just nominate each other every month. And this month we nominated, well, the last person nominated Jess. And um, and we can pick any layout, any project, anything from their Instagram or whatever projects they've done in the past. It does not have to be um, one that everyone's scrap lifting. It's, you can pick any single one from their page and uh, take inspiration from that. So that's exactly what I'm doing today. And like I said, it's a little bit different than my normal videos. I'm doing cards. So don't judge me. I don't do cards often. They're not perfect, but there are two Valentine swaps that I needed cards for. So like I said, perfect opportunity to do that. And these are six by eight papers and I simply just folded them in half and I will write something on the inside. Um, and then these cut aparts were perfect for the front. Um, and yeah, so obviously this video is a lot shorter than normal, normal videos just because, um, yeah, I didn't, I just made two little cards and they're nothing fancy. So there wasn't really much to it, but I thought I would share it anyway and encourage you to go to the wild hair kits to check it out. If you don't know what the wild hair kits is, if you're new around here, it is, um, you fill out a style profile and it asks you questions like what products do you like, what kind of projects are you working on, what colors do you like, things like that. And you fill out this profile and they will hand curate you a kit exactly for your projects and the products you like to work with and um, the designers you like to work from and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so there are two different size kits, a petite and a deluxe. So, um, they both are significant in size, um, so you're really getting a good like bang for your buck, but it's a hand curated kit for you and it comes to your door and um, it's a little bit of a surprise what's inside. I like to sometimes specifically request certain items or um, you can request it to be based around certain colors or request it to be based around a certain product that you love or... Um, say all Maggie Holmes and Cray paper or something like that. Um, so you can really customize it, um, but it's also fun when you get it and you don't exactly know what's inside. So I did take a few things from my stash. There are a few puffy stickers, um, but otherwise I mostly just use from this kit. These acrylics are from the kit. They are from what's the name? Bramble Fox. We have a partnership with them. So you could get that in your kit. Um, I also used, let me try and remember. I used some washi tape from my kit. 
the stickers, the paper, uh, the cut aparts, mostly all from my kit. But um, yeah, now I'm just kind of finishing off with some little details. And um, yes, I add, like I said, a few puppy stickers from my stash, but I think that really completed it off. And thank you, Jess, for the inspiration for these. Um, it was just the project that I needed, so it was perfect, perfect timing. And yeah, so you'll be able to see some close-ups in a couple seconds. Oh yeah, I also take some of my gold Heidi Swap Color Shine and I put that on. It's been a while since I've used that. Um, I have one, this is my older container that's kind of um, leaking a little bit. Uh, don't know what happened there and I can't find my newer one right now. So that's why I haven't been using it a lot lately, but um, normally it's my go-to. Excuse me, sorry. So here are some close-ups of the cards. I love the color scheme. I love these colors. They're so cute and pretty. And hopefully the recipients will like them. Have a good day. Bye.